Oles is the owner of Riverside Brewing, and we're talking about their big Tap That Maple Festival coming up this weekend. Welcome into the show. Yeah, thank you so much. Yep, it's Saturday. I can't wait. It's going to be noon to nine, so it's all day. Wow, all day. Yeah. Live music, uh, which is what, what's so much fun to go and sit in your mm -hmm. patio and listen to all the live music. But I love how you have the theme of maple running through most of your drinks, most of your menu. How did that happen when you started the Riverside Brewing Company? Um, actually, um, the Maple Farm is what started the business anyway, so it's mm -hmm. the root of our business anyways. Um, five generations, we've been making maple syrup. Um, that's where my husband is now. He's in the sugar house oh. boiling. <laughs> up to about 3,000 gallons this, this year so far, so it's been wow. a great year. So um, along with the maple stuff is what we uh, use to create all the ideas to create Riverside Brewing Company mm -hmm. and what it is today. And the festival just celebrates all those things. I love that. Yeah. Uh, talk about what you have here, which is uh, your, your special brew. Yeah, so this is our um, RBC Taps That. This is Tap That IPA. It's our release, our beer release that we will be releasing this Saturday. Um, super exciting. It's a very popular beer. This will be the third year we've done the festival in this beer. So okay. everyone seems to look forward to it, and we're definitely looking forward to it as well. And during the commercial break, you were telling us about a maple demonstration that you're going to have. Yes. Um, is this going to be outside, I would assume? Yes. So mm -hmm. the festival's inside and outside. We have a big bonfire. We do s'mores. Um, we have a uh, sampling of all our maple products at our silo bar, and all the proceeds, all the donations for that go to the Cambridge Springs Fire Department. Mm. Um, and we have demonstrations. We have maple sugar on a log, sugar on snow. Um, so we have a lot of antique maple sugaring equipment there on display. So there's going to be a lot to learn. There's a kid's table, too, so it's tr totally family friendly. Um, so there's going to be a lot to do inside and outside, mm. lots of live music all day, and should just be a lot of fun for everybody. I love yeah. it. And Chef is here as well. He's hiding behind the camera today. But we were talking a little bit about his maple-inspired dishes, and that's enough to, to bring you out. Oh, yeah. He's very creative when it comes to uh -huh. incorporating syrup into everything that we do. <laughs> <laughs> when he was here last time, he was saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, but the maple goes into the pizza dough, right? It a does. A little bit of it? Okay. Yep. yep. Sure. Maple syrup in our, in our pizza dough, as well as our spent grains from the brewing process. Right. Um, so that's exciting. We have a um, chicken and waffle pizza with our maple pepper jelly. Um, so we make the pepper jelly in-house, and we actually can it and sell it in our gift shop as well. Yum. And you can sample that at the festival. Um, and we also have uh, maple firecracker shrimp going on. Um, so there's going to be a, a maple feature menu featuring all these great things, as well as our regular menu. And then um, you'll just be able to sample all the good stuff, yeah. too, and um, drinks, too. So we'll have a cocktail menu that is maple-inspired mm -hmm. as well. Oh, my God. Yeah. Love it. I all love things. things. Great, food. great food and great drinks. And I love the incorporation of all the live music and the outdoor activities. Mm -hmm. um, I've been to some of your events, and they're a lot of fun. Thank if you, you haven't been out to Riverside Brewing in Cambridge Springs, I highly recommend it. Again, this Saturday is the Tap That Maple Festival. <laughs> I love that title. That's good. That's a good one. <laughs> From noon to nine. Uh, right there in Cambridge Springs. You can't miss it. There's a, a phone number and a website there if you'd like more information. It's but such a great gathering spot it out is. there in Riverside. And well, and so I spent a lot of time with the Riverside Inn mm -hmm. performing and entertaining. Right. And, you know, when that burned down, it was just so sad for me personally, for a lot of my friends. But to see what you've done with that space really just again. makes me very happy. So, Thank you. yeah, it's nice to, to head back there and to enjoy, you know, a new business and, and all that you're doing. And you're doing great because you're, you're packed all the time. So, yeah. good for you. <laughs> How many you. do you expect this weekend? Um, I don't know. Probably about 500, 600 wow. yeah. people Great. usually. Yeah. yeah, it's a, a nice break up to winter too. It is. You know? yeah. This time everybody's kind of itching to get out and get Great together. Yeah. And yeah, we'll see how it turns out. I think it'll be good though. Yeah. Sure will. No rain, no snow, so it might be cold. So dress warm. But right. okay. other than that, we'll be fine. That's all right. We Deanna, have a thank you so to keep much. Toasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining Sounds us. Like a thanks we appreciate it. Thank you.